वेलकम टू सेंटर फॉर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन उत्तर प्रदेश शैक्षण ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एरिया ऑफ बिजनेस स्टैटिस्टिक्स दैट इज टाइम सीरीज इट इज बीइंग यूज्ड इन बिजनेस स्टैटिस्टिक्स एज वेल एज इन रिसर्च मेथोलॉजी इन रिसर्च मेथोलॉजी वी आर गोइंग टू यूज टाइम सीरीज एज एन स्टैटिस्टिकल टूल टू इवेल्युएट अवर हाइपोथिस दैट वेदर अवर हाइपोथिस एक्सेप्टेड और रिजेक्टेड in business studies a manager has to take different decisions and for the better decisions he has to go with the time frame and this time frame activity is dependent upon the time series as this is a world which is being composed of two terms that is known as time and series means here time factor is very important which series means there are certain variables certain values which we are going to take into account with the specific time so let's explore the time series what is time series a time series is a sequence of data points that occurs in successive order over some period of time means over a period of time this data is going to be occurring in a month time in a year time in a 10 years time means every time you have got a specific value in a specific time this can be con contrasted with cross sectional data which captures a point in time means that if you are going to if you are going to see it is being contrasted with cross sectional data means you have got time and there are different values for example you take january february march and you write certain values 15 25 48 so what is this this is time series that according to the value you have got different time frame this is different month this is different month this is different month you can also take with year wise data means time is in year that is 2020 2021 2023 means in 2021 the value is 15 in 2021 it is 25 in 2023 it is 48 right so always the value is being coincide with a different time frame which we are going to consider and this is being taken into cross sectional data means every year we are going to explore that things if you see that in different seasons you have got different things which you are going to use in rainy seasons you are going to use rain coat and umbrellas in winter seasons you are going to use pullovers and sweaters in summer you are going to use simple cotton clothes so these are being tested and being decided by the help of time and the value which is being there so it is very important for any business men to get the best result with the help of time series now what is the importance of time series why we used to study time series analysis of cause and conditions prevailing during occurrence of past changes one can easily determine in the future policies and program means that what has occurred in the past can be easily determined by the help of time series at what time the things has happened and how it can be regularized so by the help of this time series you can predict the future you can say that in every october this type of diseases are going to occur in the month of january these type of diseases are going to occur why because there is a time series and the rate of patient if the rate of patient is increasing in certain month we can automatically predict that in future in the month of this this is going to happen so accordingly we have to take the remedial actions to overcome that specific thing now estimation of future trends on the basis of analysis or past trends means you can estimate the future trends as i have told you that by the help of time series the past data can be checked and the future can be predicted 
strengths of trade cycles are situated and their effects can be reduced to a considerable extent means there is a trade cycle if you have got certain loss so according to the time series you can say that this is the time in which the things are going to occur so you have a past data so as a good businessman as a good leader you are going to reduce all the wastage and by the help of optimum utilization of resources the data can be considered and you can earn the maximum profit so this is the use of time series now next point is comparative study with other time series so if you are going to do any comparative study in research methodology if you are doing conducting a comparative study between two companies more than two companies two banks more than two banks so time series is a statistical tools which you can apply and get the best result now uses of time series the most important use of studying time series is that it helps us to predict the future behavior of the variables based on the past experience means as i have told you that here the future is being predicted by the help of past data this past data is dependent on the specific time frame and on that you are going to predict that this specific time these things have occurred so in future also this can happen so you can take remedial actions or measures to stop that things then it is helpful for business planning as it helps in comparing the actual current performance with the expected one means it helps to get the data actual data current data with the expected performance means in chi square we used to see that we take two series observed value and expected value and time series also here a business planner can take the help of the data and he can calculate the expected data which he is going to having in the future from time series we get to study the past behavior of the phenomena or the variable under consideration means here by the help of time series we can check the past behavior phenomenon of variables means in past what has happened as you all seen that presently we have launched chandrayaan 3 and it is been a successful but what happened in the chandrayaan 2 we lost the contact so here the past behavior is being checked according to time frame there are certain times it is has been seriesed and where we lost the control where the things going changed so this time we have overcome each and every value and we are successful so time series is very important because here past behavior is being checked the phenomena of past being checked and it being controlled in the present scenario then we can compare the changes in the values of different variables at different times or places means by the help of time series the changes in values of different variables means what are the changes in the values are coming this can easily be accessed by the help of time series now what are the components of time series the first component of time series is trend trend means that it is a long term oscillation whenever we are talking about 10 years 5 years 2 years we are going to take about trend means we are predicting the data of a long term value so here long term oscillation is being calculated by the help of trends trends is something which has been set in the past and the future generation is taken into consideration so trend is very important for the time series calculation the second one is seasonal variation as you all know india has got four seasons so according to our seasons you have to change the things as i have told you that in winter you require to have pullover sweaters so before the winter you will see in the market there are lot of pullovers sweaters suits coats are on sale same way before rainy season you have got umbrellas rain coats on sale same way for each and every season you will see that before that season starts you have got market with the things which you are going to use in that specific season then you have got cyclical variations cyclical variation says that it depends upon the trade cycle 
that what is the fashion of today is going to come in the future also. Means what is the fashion in 1960s is going to be the fashion in 1990 and then in 2020, then 2040. Means every 20 years there is a change in the fashion. There is a change in the living style of the people. So this is known as the cyclical variation. Means at a specific time the things are going to come back. Then random or irregular movements. There are certain factors which are not in the hand of human beings. These are happen when the nature does certain activity. For example, earthquakes, volcanoes, or any pandemic, epidemic, which used to come. So there are components. This component is something which is not in the hands of man but in the hands of God, in the hands of nature which occurs and according to that occurrence we are going to take it into consideration for proper decision making. Now there are two models of time series. The one is additive model and the second one is the multiplicative model. So first is additive model. In the additive model we represent a particular observation in a time series as the sum of these four components means here we used to take the four components and on the basis of these four components we are going to find the value. As you all know that O stands for observational value. What is being observed? Right? What you are going to calculate is being written over here. T stands for the trends. Right? S stands for the seasons, it is seasonal, C stands for cyclical and I stands for irregular. So these are the four components which are being considered according to a specific time frame. If we say that we are going to take the data of year and the pandemic. So you have seen that in 1890 you have got pandemic, in 1990 you have got pandemic, in 2090 it might be you have got pandemic. So this is the data which is being taken into consideration. So for these things you are going to take the additive model, right? So in why we use in additive model? This is a big question you have to going to ask. So in additive model, we are adding the values, these four components. So whenever the four components are independent to each other, means these are independent to each other. The impact of this is not on this, the impact of this is not on this, the impact of not this is not in this. So whenever we are taking the independent value, it might be that in that specific year there is no earthquake, no cyclone, no flood. So there is no irregular activity either. So you write zero over here. Means everything is being independent to each other. So whenever the values are independent to each other, we are taking the additive model. So this is the model which is being used to calculate the value, any specific value to take our proper decision. Then we have got the second model that is known as multiplicity model. It is the same model has got the four components which is represents a particular observation in a time series as a product of these four components. As a product of four components here you can see the word product means trend, secular, cyclical and irregular. Trend, seasonal, cyclical and irregular are dependent on each other means dependent. All these four components are dependent because this is a product. So, if any value is 0, the automatically observed value will be 0. So, this method is only being used 
when you have got the value of all four here it is not zero it might be some values are there for irregulars also so multiplicity model is being used when we have got the different components and the values of different components and we test that what is the impact what is the impact of all these four series on the observed value in time series we used to calculate the least square method by the help of least square method we used to predict the future clear so time series these two components seasonal and cyclical are short term it can be in year month 15 days and this trend and irregularity can be a long term value long term oscillations so as i have told you that this is very important this is going to be used when the values are dependent to each other i hope you have understood that what is time series because this is one of the most important phenomena that calculating the time series and using it in your research work is very important so for all the scientific study comparative study and for all the data analysis time series one of the most important component in the next lecture we are going to see that how you are going to get the practical implementation how you are going to calculate the time series thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.